It's all connected. 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 It's all 2020. How y'all doing out there? Hopefully good. Uh, anyway, hi to all the folks in the chat there that are tuned in live here. And, well, those of you that aren't in the chat that are tuned in live, if you are out there, which I wouldn't know about. Anyway, uh, I am Grimner, and, and my lovely co-host is... Is... Hello? Circle. The other one. Am I here? <laughs> yeah, the there, other one. Yeah, there you are. Now. You have the other one. Circle. Miss Circle. <laughs> I'm the other one. <laughs> who is apparently muted. Um. <laughs> yeah, apparently. I can't even blame this one on Beetle. So. You could. I could somehow, probably. I blame yeah. Beetle. I blame Beetle. I blame Beetle, too. Okay, good. Uh, all right. <laughs> anyway, so uh, uh, today being uh, the 2nd of November on a year four, I guess, uh, means tomorrow is the uh, selection day, the day when the uh, uh, the global banking cartel lets us know who's going to be the president for the next four years. Oh, wait, uh, that's voting, right? Voting does that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it matters, too. Oh, it really, it really, yeah. it's so important. <laughs> yeah. I, although I might join the bandwagon, though. Which, which bandwagon is that? I, I found the one uh, thing that hit me by my heart. So I now have a preference in this. Uh, oh, the fracking deal. Yeah, because there is one for every flavor, though, right? You know, it's like those uh, jelly beans in Harry Potter. Well, I, I'm not familiar with Harry Potter, but what? There, there's <laughs> one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're you're, you're, you're you're confusing me. <laughs> oh well, then we're back to normal. That's a good thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I don't know. You said there's one for every uh, flavor for every person. Yeah, there is something. You know, we all have strings, right? Some string that will, for somehow, open up a way into you. You might not have a lot of strings left, though, Grimnir, but I'm sure there is one thing that could make you interested in this election, right? I, I'm only interested in the comedy of it all. So and if you, if the if one candidate came forth and said, uh, let's audit the Fed. No, let's get rid of the Fed. The hell with the Fed. What if somebody said that? Would that maybe get you enough interested to no. start? Um, no, right? No. No, because cause yeah. if, even if they did audit the Fed, um, being the Fed is the boss and not them, uh, it, it's it's not going to be an honest audit. So they can audit the Fed all they want, but they're never going to get the real answers that they're supposedly going Ooh. after. It, it's, it's all nonsense. <laughs> I, mean, I, yeah. I, I, I don't care. It, to me, it makes absolutely no difference. Uh, who is selected or not, uh, whether it's Trump or Biden or Joe Jorgensen or whoever else may be out there that that is on these various ballots that people are uh, also excited yep. about voting on and being counted with and all that. Not even Judy Tenuta? Well, Would you vote for Judy Tenuta for president? I don't No, No, I wouldn't vote for anybody for president. <laughs> But but, but I, I I liked Judy back in the day. I haven't seen her her stuff for a long time. But uh, yeah, I, I always liked her style. <laughs> Such a delicate flower. Oh, yeah. I think maybe that would be one of the most uh, written comments on the internet. Right? Is let's make George Carlin president. Right? Well, he's yeah, he now, would, but... he would not want the job either. He, he, no, he wouldn't. He's definitely wouldn't? smarter than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, what a what a horrible job to have. Um, 
Yeah. yeah. You know, at least half of everybody hates you uh, if if you're if you're the president. Um, even, even though all, everything that you do is, is controlled by somebody else that we never hear about or never see. So, um, uh, Grammy introduced me to the idea of a turtle on a post, right? A turtle on a post. Yeah, that if you see if you are walking and you see a turtle on a post. Yeah. You you know you know it didn't get up there by itself. <laughs> right. You know it's not gonna know what it's gonna do up there, right? Well, it's gonna fall off if it moves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it can't get down. It couldn't get up there by itself. So somebody took that turtle right and put it on the post, right? Okay. Grammy, she uses it as a picture of some politicians, or you know. So the trick, the the idea is that even if you took a person who wasn't a psycho, let's say you found somebody who wasn't a psycho, and you like the turtle, you lifted it up and you put it on the post, and it you put it and you made it president of the free world, also known as America, right? Yeah, free, real free. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's the bullshit. Yeah, yeah, I'm told, yeah, man. Yeah. I, I know yeah. it's, it's the propaganda. You're line. the leader of the free world, yada yada, and all that, right? You put somebody who's not a psycho, you put that on that throne and make him or her the president of America. Do you think anyone who's not a psycho would be able to stay there? I don't think even a psycho would be able to stay there. Why would anybody want to stay on top of a post? No, I'm saying, do you think somebody who's not a psycho would be able to be the American president? Oh, no, no. I mean, you know, because... I mean, you got to be the hugest egomaniac in the world in order to to consider that you should be the one r running everything, telling everybody what should and shouldn't be done, uh, and and sending out the evil jackbooted thugs to get go after them uh, if if uh, if they don't follow every rule explicitly, which of course is impossible since they have millions of rules. Um, and that's not an exaggeration. Uh, <laughs> so would it be safe to say that anybody who's running the presidential campaign is the real Slim Shady? You know, they're both psychos. Even uh, to get to to becoming a candidate, you have to be a psycho, right? Uh, no, I, I mean, I mean, I'd rather have Eminem. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he would be entertaining. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, at least he doesn't try to be something he's not. I don't know about that either. I mean, he embraces his shame very well. Yeah. The dear Eminem. Yeah. The dear Eminem. <laughs> anyway, for those of you out there listening, this is episode 16 of It's All Connected. And the title of today's program is Will the Real Psycho Please Stand Up? <laughs> and the thing is, aren't there a bunch of them? I mean, yeah. the real psycho might be a little limiting. Uh, will all of the real psychos please stand up? And then so we can know who you are and then we can knock you all down. <laughs> but I think they are standing up right now. I think that's yeah. the, at least one clear thing with an election is you get to see who the psychos are for real. Right, right, right. Yeah, they're on a stage right now. Well, they're, going, they're, hey, I'm the bigger psycho. No, I am. No, I am. I'm the greatest psycho of all time. <laughs> Vote for me. I'm huge. <laughs> yeah. Or the other guy is just kind of mumbles and I don't know where I'm at today. I don't know. Uh, he, mm. well, he, uh, he said last night he 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 was his uh, granddaughter's grandmother. <laughs> that that Biden guy, he's he, he, oh. he doesn't know where he is. He doesn't know if he's a man or a woman. Uh, he, he, he doesn't. He, he pretty much he's 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 out of it. He's just <laughs> he's, yeah. He's senile and and. There are people out there thinking, well, a senile, old, crazy guy like him would be better than this other guy that we all hate because why? Because he, well, he has a bad, uh, he, he, 
He says rude things, so he's rude, so we can't have him. Well, we'll take the uh, we'll take the senile guy. <laughs> but in all fairness, the last couple of presidents you had, like, you know, weren't they all kind of nutters? Yeah, sure. I mean, Obama definitely a nutter. George W. Bush obviously a nutter. <laughs> Bill Clinton, another. Bill Clinton a nutter. The, 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 really pre- another. the previous Bush a nutter. Uh, <laughs> Ronald <laughs> Reagan, come on, <laughs> come on, <laughs> man. <laughs> I don't know, because you know when Trump got elected, I know we. I had a moment where I went, "How surreal," you know. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I thought that Trump too. character I, is now a president. That's surreal. Right. Uh, you know, uh, uh, what they call reality TV here, which has nothing to do with reality. Uh, he was a reality TV show host. And yeah. then he was the president. And then he was the president. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Might as well make it Howie Mandel, except he's Canadian, so you can't. Um. <laughs> I'm just saying there are German surrealist theater script writers who wouldn't even go that far. It was a very surreal moment when it kind of dawned on the rest of us that (laughs) Donald Trump is the president. Yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Wow, okay. So, uh, (laughs) but I was was kind of, because, because of the fact that he was running against Hillary and I can't stand the sight of her or the sound of her voice. Uh, And and I thought, which I, I was correct about, that Trump would be more entertaining, and he is. He's just he's he's just so clueless and out of it, um, and he just just says whatever comes into his head, you know. And he's and he is extremely rude, but he's funny, you know. He makes up names for everybody. <laughs> so. Yeah, but, see, I think because um, I don't know to to uh, I I think of him a lot like Berlusconi, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To me, he's in the same character ca- category as Berlusconi, and we kind of laughed at Berlusconi for many, many, many years. But I can't understand him, so <laughs> I don't speak <laughs> Italian either. <laughs> <laughs> but you just know that crazy billionaire who just buys everything. Yeah. Oh, you didn't say that about me, did you? Yeah, I just bought your entire city. Now, where are you gonna live? It's, it's okay. Thank you. Uh, it's you know, that kind of indecency, right? Well, you know, he wants to buy a city. Trump wants to buy Greenland. A country. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just, how rude. Uh, Berlusconi was just uh, as rude, right? Yeah, but there, there, there was a there was a funny meme last night showing the uh, the post election uh, electoral vote map. Yeah. And, and they had you know all all uh, all of the uh, United States areas all in red, like Trump won. But they also had Greenland in there, <laughs> and oh, yeah. it showed, showed a bunch of uh, electoral votes for Greenland, <laughs> all voting for Trump. <laughs> I'm sure there are people in Greenland, some people in Greenland who would say, "Yeah, let let the American buy us. That'd be a lot better than than having Denmark." Probably. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm uh, pretty sure there would be people thinking that. Uh, some, yeah. There's always some somebody that's going to be on whatever side, you know. Uh, my bet is there are more American military in Greenland than there are Danish. Military? Yeah. Oh, probably. American they military is everywhere. Big military base in Tula, way up north Greenland. Yeah. I, uh, very secret military base. There's very few places on Earth that don't have an American military base. Yes. They, they are everywhere. I, I believe it was in the 70s. A uh, nuclear um, 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 airplane went down that carried nuclear missiles, went down over Greenland. Okay. And uh, it was very buried because uh, Denmark since, I don't know, uh, 50-something has been nuclear-free zone, right? All right. So it's not, it hasn't been legal <laughs> to fly or have nuclear anything in the airspace over Denmark. Oh, but America went ahead and did it anyway. Yeah. So it, it came out like in the 80s, and then it was buried again, and then again in the 90s that they had nuclear debris all over uh, North Greenland. Which okay. Is, yeah. 
And and so what were they either carrying missiles or just nuclear material or what? Well, nobody knows. Nobody knows because it's such a closed off area, right? Yeah, it's a big yeah. secret military base in Greenland. Right. And the U.S. would never admit to whatever they did. No. And the Danish politicians, they just buried. Oh, do, 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 don't talk about it. <laughs> and then and then they then they did like in two thousand in I don't know in the early two thousands or the late nineties or something like that they did an official apology to the Greenlandic people for the um, nuclear debris. The U.S. did. No, Denmark did. Oh, oh. why is Denmark <laughs> apologizing for something well, the United for States it a did? Secret, right? For keeping it a secret. And uh, not what? cleaning up after our guests like we were supposed to. And, and your guests, well, they, they, <laughs> crashed in, they crashed on your land. I don't know if that's a guest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, if, if a Cessna crashed into my backyard, I, I wouldn't consider them a guest. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, but a lot of Green Landing people work and sell their stuff to the American on those military bases, though, right? Oh sure, yeah. Military bases are a big boon for whatever town they're in, you know. Mm. Uh, regardless of all the nasty things they do, uh, yeah. there's there's still a big boon. Yeah, there's a uh, a military base in Albuquerque that had been leaking a bunch of toxic stuff under the ground into the water table uh, around a big area around Albuquerque for a long, long time, and the military refuses to clean it up. Um, but they they don't want to get rid of the base because of all the money it brings in for all for all mm. the local businesses, you know. So mm. <laughs> it's like right. they're they're killing you. They're kill, they're they're destroying your water and messing up your land, and and you want to keep them around because yeah. you can make a few dollars. Because it, it, what what would the U.S. So who is the real psycho if, there? But what, what what would the U.S. do? What would the people do if all those people who are employed in the military they suddenly lost their jobs? They'd have to get a real job, I guess. I, I don't know. They'd have to actually do something there, productive, rather than. Are there jobs enough out there for that? Well, they would have to make them. I mean, you'd have to figure something out. People figure yeah. out how to make a living, don't they? Yeah, they do. But make more. I mean. <laughs> What's that? Jobs. Let's go kill somebody. Oh, yeah. Good idea. See, that's a bad um, job, killing people. Uh, yeah. That, that's yeah. A, that's, a, that's a terrible job. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so, but, but you know what? What? What other job? We, okay, then let's look at it. When state create jobs, so it it takes money, state. it forces money out of somebody's hands, and then it creates. Something? The state doesn't create anything. A need? <laughs> yeah, no, no all, all the state creates is, is destruction. No, no. Is destruction. I read how many jobs Trump created and how many jobs Obama created. and. Yeah, yeah, you read about yeah. it, but it's all lies. And I'm thinking, do they, like, crochet those? Uh, do they sit around knit jobs? Or how do they create jobs? A plastic injection molding. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a job. <laughs> Next guy. I want one in red. Oh, I'll make you one in red. Here you go. Here's your widget factory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. But, but anyway, who's the real psycho there? The the military and the military base for for being, for destroying the, the land around them and the water around them? Or the people that live around there that say, well, I, I can I can make a, my my living off of off of these off of the, these people, regardless of how nasty the, the things that they do are. So, I'll tell you who the real psycho is. There. Okay. It's the third party. It's the politician who makes a living out of controlling that uh, unstable and wrong situation there is in the first place, where you have codependency between the military base and ordinary people. Right. On top of that, you have you have lawyers and you have uh, politicians that are skimming off the cream from that drama and creating entire careers and livelihoods on that. Okay. That's the real psychos. Right. I can understand the military people. I can understand those people. They go into a job, right? They don't have a lot of choices. They got to support themselves and a the family. There's a job. And I can, to some point, understand the city 
who's going, well, what would we do without all these jobs? Then we wouldn't be able to do as we are doing right now. No, because what they're doing right now is not sustainable. So, of course, they wouldn't, right? Right, right. But on top of that, you got these leeches. Oh, let me regulate it. Oh, I'm going to make a whole career regulating. I'm going to put a whole layer on top of it. Yeah. And I'll bet you, because that's prob- that's where we are in Denmark, the regulation layer you put on top is now almost as big if not bigger in some sectors than the actual layer underneath that it is regulating. Absolutely. Yeah, I think the yeah. uh, the regulation here in the U.S. far outweighs the productive thing that they're yeah. regulating, whatever that may be, whatever, whatever, whatever uh, field that may be in. I would say uh, from what I can read from the statistics in Denmark, it's like every, you know, it's 20 percent itch of the work hours that are laid by people in Denmark that actually produces something. That makes about, that sounds about right. Yeah. 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 I think that's, that's the real psychos. Uh, the ones who's going to go, I know all this. I see all this waste. Right. I see how it's fucking up people because now they're not working. 45 or 35 they're working 40 and then they got to work 45 hours and they got stuck in that and and the people who got on top of that and say i'm gonna make my gold i'm gonna skim my cream off the top of that and add to that strength that's what i think are the psychos right and then they they want to since they're making their cream they always want a little more cream yeah Uh, and so they keep expanding and growing it so you you got the you got the regulation you got the enforcement uh, you, yeah, you got the monitors and the, uh, all all kinds of people, just, you know, making sure that everything is proper. And uh, so, whatever the yeah. the regulators said to do in the first place, um, and they, you just they, have this thick, gooey layer of political corruption and co- political regulation on everything, and nothing can move. Right. Right. So I think that answers your second question. Can you run yep. with can you run with the psychos and not be one? No, yeah, it doesn't seem to be. No, I if you're running with them then you're uh, whether you agree or not you're buying into their methodology, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you I would say no, you can't run with the psychos without being one because if you're buying into that methodology you're uh, yeah. at minimum allowing for it <laughs> so so yeah. if you but you can't be made a victim of it right and and you know like like, like, like if, a lot of people are victims of these psychos if they if they made a regulation that um on on Wednesday the second Wednesday of every month you'd have to go out and and stab a bunch of people of a certain category or whatever yeah, and, or and, every every uh, and, Friday of the month, whatever, whatever. you have to give them, you know. Yeah, and then and then forty percent of your entire income. Yeah, and then people would would say, "I want to, I want some of that that you know that money there. Or I want to be part of this, so I'm going to go ahead and and hook up with these people, whether nah. I, whether I agree or not. I'm doing it for 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 my own purposes." Um, <laughs> so, so I, I would say no. You cannot run with the psychos and not be one because as soon as you buy no. buy into their uh, whatever it is they're selling, uh, which not really selling, forcing upon you, um, mm. then then you become one of the psychos. So you can't run with them and not be one. In my view, no, no. And your view. Okay, good. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> and I don't think, yeah, if you're, if I mean, you can be forced to uh, play a part of it, right? Uh, well, not then really. You'd be a no, no. Of it. You can't really be forced to do anything if you don't want to. No, that is true. No, I. but the consequences. Right, right. You be, have to suffer whatever um, the consequences are, and that could be... Uh, you know, being locked away in some hole somewhere, being killed, 
uh, being, you know, have your money stolen from you. Uh, any, any well, of, if I, yeah, any or of, just, you know, live in a hole in the woods. Well, it doesn't have to be a hole. <laughs> yes, it does. Because, you know, if I'm in Denmark and I was to live without paying any taxes to the system, I would have to live sort of in a hole in a public woods and move myself around all the time. Would they they would come after you for living in a hole? Uh, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I can't live in the in the public woods. I can take shelter, but I would have to move all the time, though. Okay. If I were to pay absolutely zero taxes. Yeah. I couldn't. Then I couldn't buy anything in any store. Why? Oh, right, because you pay sales tax. Yeah. Right. Well, that's different. That's that's that 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 is, uh, I think, different anyway. Um, you know, because you, know, you get to choose, pick and choose what you whatever the money being stolen from you is going to. Like, I want this loaf of bread, and they and they and they want, you know, X percent tax on that. You're choosing to go ahead and, and do that, even though you would prefer to buy it without having that tax applied. Um, uh, but see, I don't think because but, then but, I don't agree because I don't think I would be I don't think I'd become a psycho because I uh, because the state steals from my paycheck. Well, see, that's that's where the difference is though. When the state steals it, they decide where <laughs> where all that stolen money goes, and it probably goes to a lot of things you don't want it to go to. It doesn't go to your loaf of bread. It goes to you know killing things. Um, you know, hiring people to to kill other people. Um, yeah. Yeah, or throw them in cages. So. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it goes to good things too. Well, there are definitely yeah. things I would pay for voluntary. Would you? Yeah, I I pay for public health care and public ed, uh, education. Yeah, yeah. See, I would not because well, um, first off, you, uh, here in in the states anyway. The public education is totally corrupt, and and they're not educating you; they're indoctrinating you into their system. They want you to be part of the, their belief system. Um, and and as far as healthcare, it doesn't go to healthcare here; it goes to insurance. Which uh, prior prior to the government becoming involved in all of the quote healthcare unquote. Uh, you actually had good good health care out there that was very cheap and reasonably priced uh, that anybody could walk into and just pay for. You didn't need to have insurance for all that stuff. But uh, here I don't need insurance for anything. It's well, I know. Owned. I understand I, that. And, and I, I, go to the, okay, I go to the emergency room like once a year, right? Why? Because I'm an idiot. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Frequent user of emergency rooms, right? And I have never had a bad experience. And I'd say the last 20 years or so, it's gotten way better. When I was a kid, I'd usually get stuck waiting for like three, four hours with broken arms or something, right? Before they fix you up and set you back home. But, the, you know, I'm so, the last couple of times, and one of the times I really s- destroyed my fingers, I called ahead days. Booked me a time. And I was in there within 15 minutes, and the doctors were great. The rehabilitation was great afterwards. Um, am I talking to myself? No, I'm listening. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I don't have. So I'm. 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 I don't. I. I would say that we have a very good public-run, collectively paid, free health care here. Well, it's not free, obviously, because they're taking money from you. Collectively you paid. Yeah, it's collectively yeah, paid. Yeah, so it's not it's free. Yeah. It's far from free. No, but you were not being, you. Were, we will not get bailed. Nobody will get bailed when you walk in and out. Okay. Well, that's certainly not how it works here uh, in the U.S. <laughs> no. And I would uh, probably keep on paying to that if it was voluntary. I, I don't even know. I mean, there's a... The things they consider like public health care here, like uh, Medicaid and Medicare, uh, I, I think you, I think that that's still an insurance setup, uh, where uh, there's like 
co-pays and you pay for others. I, I don't really know how it all works. I, I don't, I don't, I, I, I do my honest best to avoid uh, Western medicine. Uh, yeah. If if I was to break an arm, sure, I'd let them set it and put a cast on. But but uh, if they say we're going to give you some kind of drugs, I'm going to say no, you're not. We're going to inject you with some kind of vaccine. No, you're not. <laughs> Because I don't want any of that. But, but you know, like I said, if I, you know, gashed an arm open or something and I needed stitches, okay, I can see that. That that, that makes sense to me. Um, or, or setting an arm. Yeah, those those both make sense to me. But uh, once you want to start pumping all kinds of, you know, antidepressants or anti-anxiety stuff or all, all the, I mean, there's thousands of different ones. Um, and they're, they're like, you know, the biggest advertisers on TV, the big pharma here. Um, they can't advertise on TV in Denmark. Yeah. Well, they, they certainly can here <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they do big time. Um, yeah. uh, so, uh, yeah. So, uh, I, I mean, there's very few things that I would ever seek medical care for. Um, so example, I mean, if, if. I saw it, which I wouldn't know because I wouldn't go there to get diagnosed. But if I saw it, hey, I got cancer of the whatever, I'm not going to go there and have them treat me for it. I'm going to, of course, I. I what? I'm just seven nine thirteen. Yeah, I'm not just keeping the gods away from you. Oh well, I'm not. I'm not ever going to get it. I can't get it. It's impossible. I I it's I, I dose I dose with there you go again. I dose with baking soda and I'm I'm good to go. I know. You're like the baking soda man. I am. Yeah. If, if, if you keep your body pH balanced, you're never going to you're never going to get cancer. Yep. And and the baking, be the baking soda does that. So um, Yeah. You're jinxing the gods right now, Brenda. Which gods? All the gods. Really? That's oh. right. You <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't want to jinx them. I don't no, no, you don't want the gods to look at you, man. Once they start looking at you, they start tempering with your life, and that's when it gets fucked up, right? It's like state. I didn't mean it. State. <laughs> I didn't mean don't it. Don't look at me. I don't own anything. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, okay, you so know, <laughs> let's, let's go on to the next point here. Because I okay. don't know, and I don't really understand what you mean by this, but you can tell me. Is oh, it, is it dangerous to run with votes? Yeah, is it dangerous to run with votes? What what, what does that mean? Is it dangerous to run with scissors? Uh, I suppose if you trip or something, I they could cut you. Yeah, because yeah, because they're fucking dangerous, right? Okay. Well, no, scissors aren't dangerous. I mean, they're they're a tool if used properly. Then, then yeah, I just don't like them too sharp. Oh, well, then how do they cut? You want, you want them as sharp as they can be so they can cut through stuff? <laughs> no, I don't. No. Because then I, then I can't touch them without cutting myself. Well, I'm okay. Just remember this for future reference. Mm. When, 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 you're, when you're operating the scissors, don't mm. put flesh between the blades. Yeah, okay, now you're suggesting that I do something and I keep my focus and my hands and my eyes and my mind concentrated on the same thing, right? Yes. <laughs> that, uh, that, that would be helpful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. And when, if I ever learn to do that... Uh-huh. I'll definitely start running with scissors. Then. Well, there's there's no need to run with. Well, generally speaking, <laughs> no need to run with. I mean, there may be a some cases where running with scissors is required. But even if you are <laughs> running with scissors, then then you want to properly store them in a pocket or something uh, somewhere. I mean, I, I carry knives. I, I don't get cut. <laughs> No, I just, okay, let me put it this way. If I'm going to handle something dangerous, right? Right. I'm going to make sure that the purpose of me handling it is is, <laughs> is somewhat clear and beneficial, right? It's because yeah. I need it for something. Okay, so now you're... So if you're going to be involved with voting... 
Right. Which is like dangerous as fuck. Okay. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. What Don't is... you see what voting does to the world, man? It puts people no, no, in no, prison no. and write laws. And... Pe- people, people are dangerous as fuck. It steals from you all the time. But the voting is a scam, so. No, the uh, act of voting is a very dangerous and violent well, act. Voting is very violent. I agree with that. Because yeah, you, you are dangerous. you are saying, I want, you know, my person to rule over you and do bad things to you if you don't follow what they say. Yeah, you invest in one of the most deadly forces on this planet. Right. Which so, is state. Right. So, again, it comes back down to the belief in authority. So so what are you trying okay this one if I'm going to be tampering with uh nuclear bombs right that can explode and kill everything around me <laughs> then um you know if I do it wrong or if I'm just you know don't focus right uh-huh I would only do that if if I thought it would benefit me in some way okay in in some big way you know sure but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so back to the voting. It's not. Actually... So why would you vote? Why would you vote if if you don't have a very clear purpose with what you're trying to gain from the vote? Well, from here, there's a lot of brainwashing. You know, there's a. It's it's all surrounded by the brainwashing to get you to believe in the authority of the state. That that's what it all comes back down to is. Is is the belief in authority is actually, as I say, the root of all evil. It's that belief yeah. that that these people have the right to rule over you, and if they get you to say, okay, I'm going to participate in your system by casting a vote, uh, that that means that I am part of that system because I believe in your authority over me. Yeah. Right. And and just as you 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 put up a very interesting article just about this exact topic. Though. I did, and and I have it up here, I think, and it's called yeah. it's called. Hang on a second here. Make elections not matter so much again, and it's on Reason dot com, by the way, folks. I'll put I'll put the link into the blog, but um, share with me what you thought was interesting in the, in this. Well, that, okay, that how deadly, how violent all this politics has begun. You know, let's, let's, let's use the example of the scissors, right? Okay. Because politics is like if you have a pair of scissors, but instead of a handle in one end and scissors in the other, you now have a double scissored scissor, right? A double scissor. No scissor. handle, just two sets of scissors, right? Right. And you can keep sharpening those. And no matter how you're going to take them up and cut them, you're going to cut yourself, though. Right. Well, and that's what politics is. Wait a minute. Say that again. That is what politics no, is. No, no, no. Prior, prior to that, that, that you're, no matter how how you handle, no matter it, how you're going to handle it, no matter what you're going to do, you're going to get you're going to get hurt. Okay. No matter what, no matter what the American government does from here on and out, they're just going to hurt more people. Right. They will. That's what they do. Yeah, and and and. and yeah. Not, you, you're not even spinning the scissors around where one side gets to hold the <laughs> handle and the other, because there is no handle left. Oh, okay. So, so, I, so it's blades on both sides. Yeah. Okay. They are just going to make it worse and worse, though, right? Like your article says that that everything has become so polarized and toxic and violent. Right. That they're keeping children home from school because <laughs> grown-ups, fucking idiots, start fighting with each other because they somehow have now invested so much in this shit that they have nothing else left, right? Yes. That there is nothing else left in life than this idiotic political system. Right. Yeah. Just, just look at your own chat channel. Well, it's been like four months now. At least. <laughs> of Biden, Trump, Biden, Trump. It's like, 
So, and, and, and I'm just, you know, for every day you repeat that shit, you're just going to brainwash everything more and more into that being the peak of something. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So what they, 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 some big orgasmic I, something? I, 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 try, I try to explain to people in there that it won't matter. Though nothing will change. Uh, nothing of significance anyway. Uh, uh, regardless of, you know, which person... They uh, they they say we voted for this guy. Of course, that not that their vote matters, but um, <laughs> they think it does, and and they think that things will get better once X is out and Y is in. Uh, and, and the whole time they don't realize that Z is running the show. No, it's, you, they're putting barbed wire bear traps into their own cornfields. You got to go in there too sometime, right? Blindfolded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, why? Yeah, I don't know. Why. Right? Because all the ideals you want to judge the other side on, and all the bullshit you want to do to them, is going to be in the system for them to do to you. So it's just like. Right. Well, I mean, okay, we we can look at it from a, another, uh, from a governmental point of view here. <clears throat> yeah. Which back some years ago there was a. Uh, they had this thing in in the uh, Senate there, uh, where where uh, they could filibuster something if they if they didn't mm. you know if they wanted to make sure it never got to a vote they could filibuster it yeah. which is some guy standing up there just yakking for hours um, yeah and, and and so the they didn't they didn't want to do that anymore um, and and uh, so they they changed the rule. Because they were in power at that point in time, and supposed mm. supposed power at that point in time, so that they could no the filibuster could no longer be a thing. Well, coming down the road, uh, that, that that they were no longer in power, but that rule that they changed was still there, and so these other guys say, "Hey, look, they made this there so that they can't do that anymore. Let's go ahead and roll through whatever we want to do." Oh. <laughs> yeah. It, okay, this is like putting out landmines in a civil war. I, 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 how stupid is that? Uh, right, they're still looking for those. Um. <laughs> I know, because landmines are the most idiotic, stupid thing man ever thought of, right? I don't know about that, but they're well, up there. They're, okay, they're definitely fracking up. might be up there. They're, they're but... definitely up there. Oh, yeah, yeah fracking. Yeah. Let's go back to fracking for a minute. Because... <laughs> Let's go back to... Okay, but I'm going to go... Uh, pro Biden, then. Okay, like you think, yeah. he, like you think he's not in the pocket of the big oil. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you can't take my hope away. <laughs> okay. No, no, I pay, I place it in the Kamala Harris. She's the hope of the future. Oh. She will surely be different, Grinder. Camel to a hairy ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Um. <laughs> this is the first time. The first. Uh, one of these election cycles that I've yeah. ever seen any politicians, and it's not just Trump doing this, that are pushing fracking, that are saying fracking is good. We need the fracking. <laughs> and, and here in New Mexico, it's a big. We're a big oil state. Yeah. And, and so you got all these different politicians coming out in favor of fracking, saying how what, great what, what? fracking is, and it's just like. Now, look, I like oil. I, I like using things that are made with oil and having oil, oil made, you know, gasoline made from oil, oil in the engine. I like oil. But if you have to resort to pumping poisons into the earth, and that's tons of toxic chemicals and radioactive water and all, just all kinds yeah. of bad stuff that gets pumped in there, destroys the water table, pollutes yeah. the area around it, makes it unlivable. If that's what you have to resort to in order to get that freaking oil out of the ground, no. <laughs> no, and at least be ashamed about it, for fuck's sake. Really? Uh, don't be saying how great fracking is. <laughs> brag about it. Jesus Christ. Hey, ah. did you see me? I just raped Mother Earth. Hey. Yeah. It's, it's, Score. <laughs> it's it's insanity, man. I for the jobs, for the jobs, man. It's right. Jobs. Well, it's like those those fucking oil pipe things, oil line, pipeline yeah. things that we we know. I mean, every single time, wherever they run through, those oil those pipelines leak. They leak every freaking time uh, wherever they go, and they destroy the area around wherever that leak happens. 
And, yeah. and, and, and you got people going out, oh no, we need the pipelines. We gotta have those. We couldn't, we couldn't use trucks or something like that. It's like, <laughs> I, I just don't yeah. get it. And, and, yeah. and they, they, you know, go out there and they try and, um, shut down the pro, because people go out there and protest. Hey, you know, I don't want this pipeline coming through my area. And, and they go out there and protest and, and they, and they send the cops out there to get them. Don't you, mm-hmm. protesting is not allowed when we're talking about something for big oil, yeah? Which works the, works the same for for the vaccine industry or big pharma, any of those military. They don't want you protesting the military uh, because war is good for the country. Uh, <laughs> and when my guy becomes president, he will make your protest illegal, and then you will all be sent to prison. Right? Isn't right. that what they're saying right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. So That's I, the bullshit they're saying right now. That's how statist and violent it all is. I mean, there's no love in that. There, no, there's not. I, I, Dan, Dan in the chat here says, one gallon of gasoline contaminates a million gallons of water. Mm. Or you can, I, I don't know if I believe that. Wow. I don't know where that stat comes from. But, I mean, wow. a million, I, if I took a, a gallon of gas and poured it into a lake somewhere, I, I think people could still drink the water, I, I, you know, as long as a bunch of other stuff wasn't being pushed in there, which a lot of it is. But, um uh, yeah, I don't. I, I mean, that that sounds wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like, Maybe the fracking. You I, know. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know, but yeah. I don't know. So, um, well, a- anyway, no. um, typically don't run with scissors. Oh, Dan says. Or with is. oats. Yeah, Dan, right. Dan, Dan said it is yeah. true. Um, eh? he, it was his business for fifteen years. Wow, that's mm. that. That's bad. That's bad. That one gallon yeah. could do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, don't run with votes either. I don't, I'm not really sure how you run with votes, but, um, <laughs> you stop voting for one. Yeah. Stop voting. Don't vote. That, that I mean, don't, don't, don't encourage them. Voting only encourages them. It says, Oh, we got, we got another believer over here. And the more believers we get, the more we can keep on doing nasty ass things to them. Yeah. Because, you know, you're voting for planet earth, Right. You have to. It's your duty for something bigger than you. You're a principal. Well, I, I don't, take care of it now. Yeah, by not voting, you're voting for planet Earth. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I get it, I get it, I get, yeah. it, I get it. All right, what else yeah. we got? What else? Can you roll in the mud and stay clean? Yeah. yeah maybe. Well, I think that's pretty much what we just covered. Though. Yeah, yeah, and, and I'll say on that, just on, <clears> on that direct statement, if you <laughs> if you cover yourself in like a sheet of plastic, yeah. Yeah, but if yeah. you if you roll in the mud, you know, naked or just wearing clothes, then no. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're and be... you'd be looking smashing at the um, um, election polls, right? When you go into that voting booth, ah, and you're yeah, you'll look covered in plastic. You'll look hot. Awesome. Going well, I'm I'm participating, but I'm not getting dirty. Hmm? Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so on to your next question, which all of these are questions. Every 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 topic is a question. Okay. Yeah. Um. Well, all right. Will, except the last one. Well, right. Well, it is kind of a question <laughs> because you're asking for you're asking for a response there, but we'll, we'll get there in a minute. Examples. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Will the mask prevent a BS outspill? Yeah. Explain that to me. Could we actually shut these babbling psychos up by just, you know, inventing the right mask? And could we make that mandatory for politicians? Hmm. <clears throat> so, uh, well, I think that would just be a gag. <laughs> <laughs> could we make that mandatory for yeah. politicians? Yeah, so we just put Please. a gag, put a <laughs> gag on all politicians and. <laughs> Then, yeah. I mean that would that would uh, prevent the BS out spilling from them. Not that it wouldn't yeah. spill out from other places, but um, <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking because we had a politician in Denmark who's who um, made a proposal to label all food, all processed food that you could buy in the groceries with a um, you know, a toxic sticker. And then the companies could apply to get the sticker removed if they could prove that their um, processed food was healthy. Okay. Right? 
Wow. So we could apply that kind of logic to politicians. So in the moment they become a politician, we stick a big sticker on their mouth with a um, toxic label, right? Right. And then once they've proven themselves that they're not completely babbling, insane, lunatic psychos, we can remove the sticker. So the sticker would be there for life. <laughs> for some people, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're all psychos. Huh? Yeah, so... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, but yeah, I, I was thinking also in addition to the uh, the ball gag, you'd have to have something so they couldn't use their hands either. Oh, right. yeah, because they could write stuff, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they, they 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 might be able to do sign language. Who knows? Um, <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, we could, but getting uh, figuring out how to apply it. Uh, it could be an issue. Well, I think you want to go with as broadly as possible. Because, to begin with, right? because if they're the ones that are making the rules, and they are in current form of society, they make the rules, and they set the enforcement for those rules. So in order to get them to set a rule that they would have to all be gagged, it probably is not going to happen. No, this is how, okay, right now in the Danish parliament, <laughs> this is so very hypocritical, right? They Right now they're treating a, um, they're doing a law that says that uh, all state employees, all state workplaces, right? Right. They have to serve um, vegetarian food twice a week, right? Okay. Well, because that would be good for the climate, so... We're gonna to have to eat more vegetables, right? No, no, that's not good for the climate. I don't, I don't, I don't. That's, right. <laughs> that's what that's, they say. That's bad uh, information. Do you think? Do you think that in this instance, the Danish Parliament and the politicians and the government are to um, be considered a state um, workplace? No, absolutely not. Or do, they or, are or do you state. think they they exempted themselves from this rule? Right? Oh, of course they exempted themselves, but, <laughs> yeah, they, they but, but they're definitely the state. Um, yeah. and their workplace is a state place. Not that they would eat uh, at one of their, their, their workplace anyway, but... Um, no, they have a very nice cantina. Well, they it's probably... It's beer do. and everything. It's one really? of the oldest restaurants. Yeah. yeah. That sounds like a, a But great. for some reason, they found a way to work this. So that, uh, that canteen is not covered by the law. <laughs> well, I mean... I mean don't they serve salad and vegetables and things like that? Yes, but they are to have two meatless days. A week. Well, okay, I, I I understand serving all the the vegetarian choices, but I, I don't get the point of the meatless days. It just doesn't no, it's make. No, called behavioral like, uh, adjustment of the people through uh, brainwashing. <laughs> yeah. 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 Which is which is what most of this stuff is is brainwashing, you know. Uh, yeah. Most everything yeah. that that comes out, whether it's and, and I try and separate the two, although there's no separation from from the government or from the media. But like I said, they are one and the same. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you figured? Uh, because if they're not, then then we call them whistleblowers. <laughs> they're right. no longer reporters. <laughs> and and, and then they get thrown in jail because yeah. because they've they've. Uh, once you talk about the bad things government does, that's now a crime. No, because yeah. when I grew up, we didn't have whistleblowers. We used to call those reporters. Right, right, right. Yeah. Of course, so much now of, of what is whistleblown is bullshit as well. As, as, yeah. As, <laughs> so you have to be really careful picking and choosing where you're getting your whistleblown material from. <laughs> that's because that's because state is now everywhere. It's like a fungus. Well, yeah, no, they co-opt everything, you and know. they have a four-year. It seems they have a four-year growth cycle. You know, I see it in the American, I see it in the Danish, I see it in the Swedish, I see it almost everywhere. They have this four-year cycle, right? right? And every time they go through one of their cycles, it ends up with this um, uh, mass orgasm metamorphosis thing. Where it suddenly changes colors, right? Uh huh. And then it grows a little. Yeah. Yeah, and then does that, and it grows a little for the next four years. 
Right. And then it comes to this new cycle with a bunch of woo-ha and fireworks and a big orgasm again, and it grows a little more. It, it's 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 growing every time you we interact with this beast through an election. It grows. Right. Right. I would. I mean, I think we should stop interacting with the beast through elections by now. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. But but uh, it is now so big that um, it takes up uh, so much of people's lives that they're willing to beat their neighbor at their children's school. Um, which is like what? I don't know. Huh? Yeah. All right. Well, let's get to this last question. We're we're running low on time here. And this is, is a is a uh, audience participation kind of question. Uh, go sure. ahead, feel free there in the chat to uh, chime in on this one. But I have my own kind of thing here. So, um, folks, name one good thing that comes from elections. Sorry, Hal. I had, to, <laughs> I had to borrow. I had to borrow that. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, and Beetle oh, answered it earlier. Stickers, stickers, stickers. <laughs> free stickers. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's right now because. Um, well, I'm guessing the if you really want a lot of Biden and Trump stickers in your house, wouldn't you know when I, 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 I the day he, to go buy them? I think he's talking about the "I voted" sticker. Oh, is there is such a thing as yeah, yeah. Voted? If you go and vote, well, in person, uh, they they hand you a little sticker. To, they give you a sticker. Yeah, they give you wow. a sticker, and it says "I voted" with a picture of the flag on it. Wow. Well, at least it's better than in Australia. What's that? Well, then if you vote there, you are free of, then you don't get a fine. What? You have they, to... have man, they have mandatory voting in Australia. Right? Holy hell. So if you don't vote, you get a fine. Well, that, that sucks. Oh, I, I like the way they did it over there in uh, Iraq, uh, where when, when you vote, then they, they dip your finger in, like, purple ink. and, and so, Oh. So... That way they know you can't come back and vote again because the ink will stay on longer than the, the election thing. Yeah. And and then you can walk around showing your finger, I voted. Oh, look at me. I voted. What a good, I what voted. A good person I am. I voted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I took, I am a part of this. Uh, yeah. 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 I don't know. Yeah, do what Donna says and, and subscribe to Harry's Patreon. And you get your free sticker and and no blood on your hands. Oh, <laughs> is it a pretty sticker though? I I don't know. You have one of those. I don't. I don't no. have that. No. So name one good thing. Somebody a good thing that comes from elections. <laughs> uh, a new puppy. A new puppet. Right. A new puppet. Yeah, you get yeah. a different face, maybe depending on which which election. So you don't have new to, memes. All new me memes are awesome. Yeah, there's no hot chicks coming from the election beetle. Uh, if you're, if you're, no, no hot if, chicks. If you have an election where you're getting hot <laughs> chicks or free coffee for that matter, I want to know that's that, that that's an election that I might partake in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and stickers. It's, well, I have no need for the stickers, but... Um. No. No. No, you should make oh, I did no. not vote sticker. Cities cities burn to the ground. I think that's going to be the what comes from this this election here. We're going to get cities burned to the ground. People protest. Well, actually, you know what? What? <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a TV show. Uh, it's called American Horror Story. You ever heard of it? I've seen that, yeah. Okay. Well, after the last election, four years ago, um, they did a American Horror Story series, uh, season on... About cults, yeah. Well, cult not, no, not about cults. About, uh, about, well, it was kind of, there was some cults involved. 
but yeah. it, it was about all the all the, the leftist people going crazy over the fact that Donald Trump got elected. Um, <laughs> and, and they went to some extremes. Of course, it's American Horror Story, but yeah. Uh, it, Are you going to do a anyway, uh, so I really, the election? I, uh, what's that? When is the election? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Are you going to be doing live coverage of the election? Hell all no. Day no. Why not? Because I don't care. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're out of time here. We're, out of, we're actually, yeah, we're all over time now. So anyway, thanks to everybody for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the show as much as I did, and I hope you did too, Circle. Yeah, I did. And fuck fracking. Uh, fuck fracking. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So, um, <laughs> anyway, uh, everybody have a good rest of your day. Uh, don't vote. Don't, can I say that? Don't vote. I can say that, right? I don't know. Can you? I just did, so I guess I can. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what if you couldn't? Then what will happen? <gasps> uh, too late. It already happened. Uh, so, whether I can or not, I did. So, huh? man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, check out the schedule on com for the rest of the shows throughout the week. If you want to do a show, let me know, and I'll get you set up. Talking to you, Donna. Oh, uh, and everybody. <laughs> anyway, um, that's it. Anything else? No, I don't think so. Peace. Peace.